siblings in Christ from Broadview United Church of Christ, from Luther Memorial, and from places far and wide. Welcome to Lenten Midweek Worship. We come together tonight with a sense of both joy and sadness. It's joyful to be together always, but um, a, a tinge of sadness at least is in my heart as we think about this being our last um, time for right now to be together as God's people gathered um, not under one roof, but shall we say gathered on one screen. So regardless of where you are worshiping with us from tonight, we say um, on behalf of our Lord Jesus, welcome. I invite you to um, keep our siblings in Christ at St. Dunstan's Episcopal Church um, especially in your prayers these days. Um, I don't have many details, but we do know that their church was broken into and vandalized. And um, that's never a good thing for a church or for anyone. So please um, join me in prayers for these siblings. I invite you all now to please unmute for our call to worship. Turn away from the calls of worldly success. Be repent, repent and turn back to God. Turn away from the desire to have what everyone else has. Repent, repent and turn back to God. God. Turn away from greed and the race for power. Repent, repent and, and turn back, back to God. God. May we seek forgiveness. May we seek healing. May we seek wholeness. May our hearts be renewed in this time of worship. Amen. May we. Uh... Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and shine within your people here. Stars that grace the darkness in the place. 
I invite you all to unmute for the evening Thanksgiving. May God be with you all. And God also be with you. you. Let us give our thanks to God. It is right, it is right, right to give our thanks and praise. praise. Blessed are you, creator of the universe. From old you have led your people by night and day. May the light of your Christ make our darkness bright. For your word and your presence are the light of our pathways. And you are the light and life of all creation. Amen. We are on our fifth and final baptismal promise tonight. Our fifth promise is to proclaim the good news in Christ through word and deed and to witness to the work of Jesus Christ as best you are able. A reading from Luke chapter 9. Jesus called the twelve together and gave them power and authority to overcome all demons and to cure diseases. He sent them forth to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the afflicted. Jesus told them, take nothing for the journey, neither walking staff, nor traveling bag, nor bread, nor money. Don't even take a change of clothes. Stay at whatever house you enter and proceed from there. As for those who don't receive you, leave that town and shake its dust from your feet as a testimony against them. So they set out and went from village to village, spreading the good news everywhere and healing people. As we have reached our fifth and final baptismal promise in our Lenten midweek series, I was looking back over all of the promises that we have discovered during our time together. And I, I noticed an overarching theme to follow Jesus and to do the best that you can. At first glance, these promises seem like tall orders to be a Christian, to be Christ's disciple to follow in the way of our savior, to strive for justice and peace in all the earth, resisting oppression and evil, to show love, justice, and serve all people, to proclaim the good news to everyone. Just some simple commands to live out every day, right? But these commands are also filled with grace to strive for justice and peace. This isn't to complete it perfectly, but to give it your best shot. To show love, justice, and serve all people following the example of Jesus. We don't have to recreate the wheel or figure this out on our own. Rather, we have the perfect example who has come before us and shown us how to do this work to proclaim the good news in Christ through word and deed and to witness to the work of Jesus Christ as best you are able, as best you are able. Again, we are not to do this work perfectly or without failing, but rather we make our best attempt knowing that we will fail from time to time. These promises are filled with grace, grace for us and grace for the world. In our reading for tonight, we also get grace. Jesus gives his disciples a pretty hard uh, job to do, to go out with nothing and spread the good news. But Jesus doesn't dictate who they should spread this good news to. Rather, he tells them to go from village to village, spreading the good news to all people. Go everywhere. Our baptismal promises also include all people to strive for justice and peace in all the earth, to show love, justice, and serve all people. This isn't an exclusive message only for those who understand it or perfectly have lived up to their baptismal promises, but rather for the whole world. 
Now let's dig back into the text a little bit. Jesus tells his disciples to go to all villages and tell of this good news everywhere. That's a lot of ground space to cover. So why did he tell them to go with nothing? First, it forced the disciples to rely on the hospitality of strangers wherever they went. They had to rely on the kindness of strangers in the villages they entered, which removes a massive safety net of being able to care for yourself. Welcoming strangers is kind of one of Jesus's big things. Second, this allows the disciples the ability to identify with all people, including the poor. They no longer have the barrier of physical goods to secure them on their journey. Rather, they are just like those living on the streets with nothing, relying on the good of humanity to support them. Jesus removed all of their safety nets and distractions that might hinder their ability to spread the gospel everywhere. Now, can you imagine if Pastor Hoffman, Pastor Gary and I said, okay, Luther Memorial and Broadview UCC, we are going on a trip to spread the gospel message, but just one thing, don't bring anything with you. Just show up to the church with what you have on and we're just gonna go. No money, not a change of clothes, no snacks, no phone. Just come with us and we will hope that strangers take care of us. I can't imagine that many of you, if any, would follow us on that journey and you might question our mental stability. It is a massive task that Jesus has given the disciples to strip themselves of all their comfort to spread the gospel message everywhere. It begs us to ask ourselves some questions. How do we offer and receive hospitality? And how do we silo ourselves away in our buildings with our earthly possessions and other luxuries that blind us to the least of these among us? It is really hard to accept hospitality in this world where we are expected to care for ourselves and when it is a sign of weakness to ask for help. It is also really hard to break away from our buildings and other known realities of our church to reach out to those who go unnoticed to spread the gospel message. This is a big and uncomfortable ask that Jesus has given his disciples. But this is where the grace comes in as it always does. The grace that is woven throughout our baptismal promises. Do the best you are able. Strive. Give it your best shot for the sake of the world. If we fail attempting to spread the gospel message to the corners of this world, at least we were going to the corners. If we fail in our efforts to show justice and peace to all people, at least we were recognizing all people. People of God, we just have to do the best we are able to be willing to let go of our safety nets from time to time and share the good news to the ends of the earth. Because we know that this message of radical love and hospitality is life changing. So stretch yourself to proclaim the good news in Christ through word and deed and to witness to the work of Jesus Christ as best you are able because grace always abounds. Amen. Oh, man, who's there?
I invite you to join me in prayer using as our prayer response tonight. Let us return to God who gives us life. Yes. Let us pray. Oh, gracious, loving creator, as best we can, we come before you. We lay before you our lives in worship and in praise. We give you thanks for grace that abounds. Let us return to God who gives, gives us, us life. life. O oh Lord, as you were stripped of your clothing, your dignity, So let us strip ourselves of our preconceived notions of that which we are able to do. Give us the courage and strength to go out with nothing and to rely on you as you have called us to do. Let us return to God. Lord, we give thanks for the siblings in Christ in these two congregations and for the opportunity to worship together in this holy Lenten time. Together, may we continue to work to strengthen the witness of Jesus in our community and throughout the world. Let us return to God. Give us, us life. Lord, we pray for an end to violence everywhere. At the moment we are aware of violence toward Asian Americans in our midst. We are aware of the senseless killings of innocent people. 
we are aware of damage done to our sibling congregation, St. Dunstan's Episcopal. We know that violence begins in each of our hearts. And we confess to you the violence, the prejudice, the injustice, the lack of mercy that all of us hold. Forgive us, gracious God, and let us return to God who who gives us us life. life. Lord, we are grateful for the promise of health. As the world begins to reopen, grant us continued patience. Help us to know that it is still to you that we look for healing and strength. Hold us in our continued commitment to keep the least of those among us safe. Help us to work for the equitable distribution of healing, not just vaccines, but true healing to all people. Let us return to God. Lord, we give thanks to you for the communion of saints. And we remember before you tonight, especially Wilma, a huge loss to the congregation of Broadview United Church of Christ. Be with them as they grieve and receive her into the arms of your mercy as you have promised. Let us return to God. Give us 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 life. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, kingdom the power, the power, 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 Go in peace, return to God. Thanks Thanks be to God. God.